Welcome at Jongia Mixing Technology. My name is Tom Pruimboom and I work as Sales Director for Jongia. Jongia offers a wide range of mixing and steering equipment, which is based upon many years of experience and fundamental research. In this video, we want to introduce you to starch gelanization, from native starch to glucose syrup. To explain the process of starch gelanization, first we need to explain how we have set up this lab scale test unit. We have prepared a 10 liter vessel with a heating coil to increase the temperature. We also have connected the laptop to the lab scale mixer unit to show the temperature increase. And of course, very important, the mixer shaft. The mixer shaft is equipped with a two bladed rest steerer and a four bladed Axial flow main mixing element plus a hydro pop element to ensure proper top over bottom mixing and axial flow. The setup of this mixing element will produce a homogeneous product and ensure that the ingredients are blended thoroughly into the mixture. This duty is mainly done by the axial flow element since it creates high turbulence and necessary shear. We have positioned the mixer shaft at one third of the center of the tank. Because of this position, there is no need for a set of baffles. Leaving out baffles also simplifies the cleanliness of the installation. The vessel is filled with clear water at atmospheric temperature. First, we need to increase the water temperature to approximately 65 to 70 degrees Celsius. This will be done by warm water from the tap connected to the heating coil. Now we will start the process and disperse 500 grams of native potato starch in 10 liters of clear water. As you can see, the starch mixture is blended by the mixer into a homogeneous product and is still quite opaque as it seems. We apply an iodine test to prove that at this stadium there is native starch inside the tank. The temperature, in combination with the mixing process, produce a homogeneous fluid with an increased viscosity. The process shows the starch crystals to break down and become individual strings. Very important, with a proper mixing process, lumps will be avoided. We don't want lumps. As the matter becomes less transparent, simultaneously we can clearly see that the viscosity has risen to almost 2000 centipoise. It has become a gel. Now it is even more important that the hydropod mixing element does its purpose and ensures top over bottom mixing. This necessary duty is required for the next step. We will now dissolve 20 grams of enzymes. As you can see, the mixer is taking care of sufficient flow to make sure that the enzymes are well mixed together while remaining the homogeneity of the product. The enzymes will react with the potato starch and convert the starch into glucose. This process also makes the gel less viscous. It has become like a syrup. This syrup is a great alternative and much cheaper product compared to a similar product produced with plain sugar. Therefore, it is widely used as a basic material for all kinds of products, such as soft drinks, sauces, cakes and emulsions. In such products, the glucoses are often called carbohydrates. What we have done in this test. Native starch is a polymer of glucose. By mixing the heated water and the starch and blending this with the added enzymes, it has converted into a monomer of glucose. The starch has become glucose syrup. You have just witnessed a process in which Jongier mixing technology produced glycose syrup as a basic material for all kinds of food related products. If you are interested in the process technology of Jongia, please contact us at jongia.com or give us a call. We are always happy to answer your questions about starch generalization. Thank you for watching.